I'm Oliver Fuhr from Meteo Swiss. I lead the team here, development in the numerical prediction section. Weather models are very complex codes which are being executed on large supercomputers. In order to do that, they solve the basic governing equations on a grid. This grid has a lot of grid points where values for pressure, wind, temperature are being forecast. For example, Meteo Swiss's highest resolution model currently has about 18 million grid points that need to be updated every 80 seconds. You can imagine that doing this is a humongous computational challenge. Meteo Swiss used the COSMO weather model. COSMO is being developed by Meteo Swiss together with the German Weather Service and many other national weather services. In order to make COSMO ready for also accelerated hardware architectures, we needed to fundamentally invest into the software. One thing we did is we separated the hardware optimization from the actual user level of the code. We used a library in order to do that. The technical term for that is the separation of concerns. Once this has been done, we could actually run the model on different hardware architectures without sacrificing in performance. This today allows us to run the Cosmo model also on NVIDIA's GPUs and on hardware architectures which contain fat nodes. So the hardware, the supercomputer that Meteo Swiss uses, is situated at the National Supercomputing Center CSCS in Lugano. The system is a CS Storm cluster system from Cray. This system has a very special node architecture. On a single node, there are 16 GPUs and only two CPUs. Due to the high memory bandwidth of the GPUs, this is an optimal fit in order to run the Cosmo weather model. The push for higher resolution will not stop. Meteo Swiss plans to introduce a high resolution ensemble in the frame of 2019, which will again double the resolution from two kilometers to one kilometer.